We've been getting after it all morning, getting ready for the brew barn. It's gonna be our third week this Friday. The last two weeks have been a screaming success, more than we thought that it would be. So um, it has definitely been a lot of hard work getting everyone ready and all of our products here on the farm. So all of that work has been making me very hungry and I get very hangry easily. Who came in the mail? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> hey guys, I know you haven't seen me in a while on the channel, but we partnered with Butcher Box and I wanted to show you guys what's in here. Claudia, I heard you were hungry. Yeah, so yeah. we can cook up some stuff, show you guys what's in it. If you want to learn more about Butcher Box, you can go to the link below. But first, I'm going to tell you more about it. This is quite a large box. Wouldn't it cost a lot of money to get all that meat? You would think so, but this is actually super affordable. There's free shipping, and you don't have to do a yearly subscription, so you kind of just get it as you please. Wow. So I'm gonna take you guys through our box. Um, it came nice and refrigerated, as you can see. Wow. Um, they're actually running a special for lobster tails and ribeyes, uh, July 12th through August 9th. So let me show you um, the ribeyes, which look delicious. There they are. Mmm. Got two of those. Well, four, technically. <laughs> and my favorite part, I'm super excited for these lobster tails. And ButcherBox works direct with farmers, so they're always ensuring quality meats. And that's like probably my favorite part about ButcherBox. Um, also, that they're super convenient um, and they're affordable. So I'm going to be doing a little ButcherBox tutorial. Well, our ButcherBox. Um, you can customize your butcher box to however you want. And for those of you concerned about price, uh, it works out to about $6 per meal, which is really amazing. Um, so here are some of the cuts. This is the special that they're running right now. And the lobster tails. Mm. Um, this is, I'm super excited about. So they don't just do uh, beef cuts. They also have pork, obviously the lobster. We got some top sirloin steak. Bacon, because who doesn't like bacon? And some filet mignons, those look amazing. And as you guys know, farmers are always on the go, so the convenience of butcher box is literally perfect for our lifestyle. We just come home and we already have stuff to cook. We don't have to go to the grocery store, because when I'm at the grocery store, I get so stressed out picking my meats and picking the styles and making sure everything's quality. But with butcher box, I'm ensured that everything is of quality and I can have a good meal. So if you guys are interested in this, there's a lobster tail and ribeye deal right now. Make sure you guys click on the link below and don't miss it because um, we're eating good today. So and we're obsessed with this company and it's a company we can really get behind because they support farmers and we love that. Yes, and it's very affordable as we said and I'm just very excited. Getting ready more today. It is Friday. So today's like, you know, crunch time for everything that we have to get done. I mowed last night. So everything that is done that they, I think like mowing the yard just makes everything obviously look so much better. But sometimes even if like the grass isn't even that long and you mow it, you're like, wow, way prettier. I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. So I set up all these tables as well. Um, I had to move them all to move, obviously. And then um, now I'm gonna, I kind of bounce around and help both Jojo and Evelyn in both locations. So Evelyn usually gets the bar ready and Jojo usually gets the food ready and I kind of help both of them. We have a new power source this week. Our power has been going out like way too much. So they've been working on doing whatever you do for that. I'll show you. So that's my dad. Getting that ready. And I don't know where Jojo is. I think she's with Evelyn's new puppy, which he's so cute. Um, and I'm gonna help Jojo get ready for her nachos this morning. So I feel like the sour cream sauce. We have a sauce called Boom Boom Sauce. It's so good. And um, that's our number one seller, so we try to get a lot of that done um, beforehand to try to just make it easier for my mom, who's a girl that who's on nacho duty. I'm very excited for tonight. I hope it's pretty busy. It's the first week where there's not a chance of rain, 
for tonight. So it's probably gonna rain. But it hasn't rained every week, but it, like all day it's been like 40% chance of rain at like seven o'clock, which is our prime time, obviously. So all the cooking is done in the bakery, in the kitchen of the bakery. And then, um, don't know why these lights are flashing on this ice cream machine. So we got an ice cream machine and don't know why those lights flashing, but so we have like everything you could possibly ever need to run a bakery and a um, food place. Fryers, oven, food warmers. We have a big stand up food warmer right there. So we take these little bottles here and we fill them with like sour cream and stuff. So it's like easier to just do it quick instead of like a mess of the spoon and everything. So this is not your normal content. I do know that. Um, we did start wheat yesterday, so we'll be doing a lot of that content. My dad isn't gonna be able to help tonight because he has to combine, so that's unfortunate, but um, I'll should be, I should be bailing tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. JoJo said to do ha or double the amount of Boom Boom sauce that we did last week, and this is Boom Boom sauce. It's just made by Ken's. So good. It's like spicy. I don't know how to describe it, but so we're gonna start filling them up. Um, and honestly, I would I like this kind of switch up that I do in this content because it's cool to know how restaurants are making their things. Um, I never thought about half the things that I do now. Like when I go to a restaurant, I'm a lot more appreciative. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we're just gonna fill all of these little containers. I had to adjust the um, nozzle because it was way too small, so I just cut a little off with a knife. And it's much better now. It's pretty satisfying.
seat covers that Mike made. They're trampoline. It's a trampoline, so it's kind of fun. I wonder if Claudia knows the bin is full. Better go check that out. Silly girl. Sprouted. Not everyone, just a few. Wow, this is some wicked weed. Some of the best I've ever done. Howdy, Phil. This has got to be going well over 100 bushel the acre. It's crazy. I'm just creeping along like two mile an hour, running it through. It's awesome. We're having a heck of a time getting it this year because of the weather, but we're gaining. I wish you guys uh, out west who are struggling with a little bit of lack in water live closer to New York because it rains almost every day. This is uh, in the last three weeks we have had, well, this is the only stretch of two days of dry weather we've had in the last three weeks. Crazy. Probably gotten over six inches doesn't rain a ton all the time one night we got four inches but other than that it's just a shower or just a heavy thunderstorm where we get like a three quarters of an inch other than that wish you guys could have some that is a common occurrence this year do you guys get much of this this is pretty common around here, unless you're real lucky. Just certain areas just go down. Sometimes the whole field goes, goes down. And some people, they put too much manure on it or maybe too much nitrogen in this spot, who knows. But it's a, it's a real joy to try to combine it, especially when it's wet and tough. Mine just wraps around the back side of the auger, which I think is my fault. I think I just need to adjust it a little more. Who knows? When you have standing wheat, it's a gift for sure. If only I'd unplugged the combine twice, so not terrible.
sweet this year, only one problem. It's sprouted, so not that good. We've had three weeks of rain, maybe three good days out of three weeks. So this is one of the first good days after a lot of rain. So, gonna have some good cow feed.
going to keep going because I want to finish. We got a pumpkin update. 